Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss high availability Palo Alto firewall configurations. So there are two types of high availability. One is active and passive and second one is active and active. So here we are going to discuss active and passive config configurations because most of the customer are using active and active and passive configurations. So here we have Palo Alto firewall one and two. And we have two link. One is for the control packets, and other other one is for the data packets. So HA1 we are we are going to use for control link, and HA2 we are going to use it for the data link. And here one one firewall will become a active, and other one will become a passive. So uh, other firewall will be on standby. So once active will go down, passive firewall will take over all the action. What if we want to use both firewall at the same time? In that situation, you can configure active and active. So in active and active, you, you have to add one more link, HA3, and then you have to configure both the firewall. So at active and active configuration, we will discuss later, uh, like in upcoming videos. So if you if you are using PA, PA firewall 3000, 4000, 5000. So in those firewall, you will find dedicated HA ports. But in all other all other firewall model, for example, virtual virtual Palo Alto firewall or PA 200, 220 firewall, there you can use any two ports. One is for the control control data link. Other one is for one is for control link. Other one is for the data link. So in 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 our diagram, like I have created a topology diagram. Here you can see I have Palo Alto firewall one and two. One is uh, one port is one slash six, and other one is one slash five. Same I have configured on Palo Alto firewall two. So these these two firewall connected to cloud, so I can access the management interface from my PC itself. So here we are going to use uh, Ethernet 1 slash 5 as a control link and Ethernet 1 slash 6 as a data link. So let's go and configure it. And this is uh, PA firewall 1 and this is PA firewall 2. So currently you can see HA is not configured. Same you can see on the PA2, HA is not configured. So first we are going to select two interfaces. Okay, one is for the control and other one is for the data link. So I'm going to use Ethernet 1 slash 5 and this go I'm going to configure as a HA. Okay. Same I'm going to use Ethernet 1 slash 6. 1 slash 6. This one also I'm going to use as a HA. And then commit. Same thing we can do on the Palo Alto Firewall 2. Here we can see Ethernet 1 slash 5. It, currently it is tap. We are going to select as a HA. And same thing we are going to do on Ethernet 1 slash 6. Select as a HA. Then commit. Now commit is successful. Now you can see both Ethernet 1 slash 5 and Ethernet 1 slash 6 both are HA ports. Now we are going to enable HA high availability. So first to enable high availability you need to go under device. Then select high availability. Under general setup. Click on this gear icon. Enable HA. Here you have to give the group ID. It should be same on both the Palo to firewall. And then you can give the uh, you you can give the peer HA IP address. Uh, you can give uh, any IP address, but it should be it should be in same subnet. So both firewall can ping to each other. Okay. So I'm going to use 192.168.168.1.1. So this is setup configuration. Now we are going to do control link HA1 configuration. Okay, so HA1, click on this gear icon. So Ethernet 1 slash 5, I'm going to use as a HA1. That is for control, control data packet, control packets. So Ethernet 1 slash 5. So IP address, I'm going to use 192.168.1.1. 
dot 168.36 and the subnet mask should be 255, 255.0 okay and you can also configure HA, HA1 backup so if you want you can uh, you can connect one more link and that link you can use as a HA, HA1 backup but here we have only two links so one link we are going to use it for HA, HA1 control link other one is we are going to use for data link so HA2 here we are going to use ethernet 1 slash 6 for data link so the IP address I'm going to use 192.168.77.36 and subnet mask it should be slash 24. All other configuration I will leave as a default. Then commit. Now we are going to do same thing on Palo Alto Firewall 2. So go under device, high availability, under setup, enable the HA, and then peer IP address, it should be 192.168.168.36. Then we need to configure the control link. And we are going to use Ethernet 1 slash 5 as a control link. And the IP address, it should be 192. Here we have to give, give its own IP address, 168.168.37. Then subnet mask, it should be slash 24. Okay. Then we have to configure data link on data link here we are going to use ethernet 1 slash 6 ip address we are going to use 192.168.77.37 and the subnet mask it should be slash 24.0 then commit We'll wait until this commit is successful. Now configuration committed successfully. So now we are going to verify whether both the both firewall form the form a high availability or not. So first I'm going to check on PFR all one. So here you can see now HA has been formed. This one is uh, local and this is active. And other one, our peer IP address that is 192.168.10.170. 170, this is 170. So it is passive. And same thing we are going to verify on Palo Alto Firewall 2. Here we can see local is passive and peer is active. So PA1 is working as a active and PA2 is working as a passive. To synchronize the configuration, you can always do it from active. So when you are doing it from active, so it will push all the all the active firewall configuration to the passive firewall. If you, you are doing it from passive firewall, then it will push all the passive firewall configuration to the active firewall. So here you can synchronize it. So after it will take some time, after some time the configuration will be synchronized. So it will take some time to synchronize all the configuration. That's all for this video. In upcoming video, upcoming video, we are going to discuss about uh, VPN topics. We will discuss IPsec and SSL. First, we will cover the theory part, then we will do the configurations. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.